everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of R. I am your host, Moon616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Yes, day 14 is here on the 31 Days of Horror tray, and we're going to take it all the way back to the 70s again with a film from 1977 directed by Robert Klaus, who is mostly known for directing Enter the Dragon, the classic Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee flick. And um, he also directed Deadly Eyes, the killer rat film. Um, so, <laughs> the opposite ends of the spectrum right there. This one falls right in between those two films, and it is called The Pack. Yes, this is a killer dog film. So he was kind of all over the place. Actually, oddly enough, in Deadly Eyes, if you don't know the, the history behind that film, it's about, like, mutated huge rats, but they actually dressed up little dogs in rat costumes. So... So maybe, you know, working with dogs, maybe this film went that well, they're like, well, we might as well use dogs in that one kind of thing, who knows. <laughs> but anyways, the pack from 1977, quick synopsis, uh, falls her main character, uh, played by Joe Don Baker, um, which we all recognize that guy, he's from tons and tons of films. Um, he's a marine biologist and he works on this isolated island and he decides he's going to start living out there full time. So him and his girlfriend are building this house and they're kind of moving in their kids and things like that. Um, but mostly this island is for vacationers. You know, there's a few residents that reside there all year long, but it's mostly all for vacationers. And uh, what has happened here is when the vacationers usually leave after a long vacation on this island, they tend to leave their dogs behind. And this has been happening so much that now the dogs have kind of bound together and they're super hungry and now they become wild dogs and they need food. So they start attacking what they can, whether it be dogs or other animals or even people. So now they have to fend for their lives against this wild pack of dogs. So my thoughts on this one, it's a, right from the start of this film, it's super apparent what the subtext is. I mean, really, I mean, humans treating animals like shit, it's kind of like one of those stories of what goes around comes around. You know, you treat animals like shit, they're gonna, it's gonna come back to haunt you type thing. It's pretty apparent. I mean, there's nothing more, nothing less this film. Um, the thing I love about this film is that it's so straightforward. I mean, it's got a very simple premise, and it's just, it's action-packed. Totally action-packed. This is a film from 1977. There's no CG in this. It's all real dogs. A lot of training and choreographing went into this film. I give them all the props in the world for some of the scenes that they shot in this film. I mean, whether it be dogs attacking a car, or dogs attacking other animals, or, you know, just the long shots of dogs just snarling and growling and, you know, just all the dog scenes are incredibly shot in this film. They're vicious, really, really vicious scenes. And I have absolutely no idea how they managed to accomplish all those things so well. But whatever they did and whoever they had training these dogs or doing whatever did such a fantastic job in this. It sells it completely. The whole film is sold based on these dogs. It's so fantastically done. I absolutely love it. Um... It's, it's awesome. You know, it's not overly gory or anything. Uh, there is a lot of dogs that get shot in this film and, you know, either run over. A lot of wild dogs get killed and stuff, but not for real. So, PETA, if you're watching this, don't worry about it. Plus, this is way past the facts. It's 77. But that's what I love about these older films, using practical and, like, real animals and stuff. Filmmaking back in these days was a lot tougher, and this is a perfect example of how you make those type of films correctly. Um... John jo uh, John Don Baker, man, does a fantastic job in this film. That's where one of my criticism comes into the film. He's pretty much the only memorable character. There's quite a few characters in this film, and it's one of those films where they're just really throwaway. Either they're annoying or you don't care about them. At times, you just want the fucking dogs to eat the, the assholes because there's all these rich vaca vacationers and shit. You don't care about them. But at the end of the day, it's not about the characters. It's really about watching these dogs and, and how the narrative's going to play out. And... It's fantastic. I think the pacing is really well done for a film like this. They do It does drag at points in this. I think some of the dialogue is a little bit clunky at times. And yeah, it does run probably about 10 or 15 minutes too long. But those are minor complaints. I mean, I think, you know, the scenes with the dogs and the action in this film really makes up for all the kind of minor issues with the film. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just... It's really well done. I, I Every time I watch this film, it just blows my mind at how well... Uh, this thing actually turned out. So, yeah, man, if you're into killer dog films and good ones, you need to check out The Pack from 1977. It's definitely one of those films that 
it'll leave you going, damn, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, th I think the ending is, it's hardcore too, man. I think it's really hard what they, what they ended up doing, but they shot it correctly. If you've seen this film, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it leaves you with a good note too and things like that. But, um, but yeah, overall, man, excellent film. Really, really excellent film. I'm going to give this one about an 8 out of 10. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's a killer dog film. It's dogs attacking people. There's some really great scenes. I don't want to give away the scenes in this, but you can see the terror in people because those are real dogs, man. Those are real dogs and kind of unpredictable at times. So, um, but yeah, check this one out from 1977. Absolutely love the film. So that is going to do it here for day 14 on the 31 Days of Horror. I will check you guys tomorrow with probably a newer film. See you then. Peace!